Good morning, sweethearts. How are y'all doing? It has been an intense couple of days. The golden liquid, the liquid golden plasma light has been anchored. It has been activated in each of your DNA. There are many going through extreme, intense upgrades. Those upgrades include hot flashes, bolts of lightning, heat, fire going through. Good morning, Angela. How are you doing, beautiful? Um, nausea, a lot of discom painful dis distortions, discomforts in your bodies. This is completely normal with these full moon energies. There are many, myself included, for 48 hours, a little longer for myself. Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning, Kent. You're DJing. I'm going to listen as soon as I'm done with my video, Kent. And, sweethearts, these are intense. These are, the divine is, for lack of a better description, forcing you to choose to continue being in the timelines of human or choosing to accelerate to higher mm -hmm. timelines of spirit and higher frequencies. Good mm -hmm. morning, Barat. If you, uh, if you allow yourselves to go within, to step back and to observe, you will discover... Oh, thank you, Kent. You, everybody go listen to some Rebel Radio that Ken's going to be DJing. You are going to discover, sweethearts, that there is much separation going on right now in frequencies. For those of you who do not understand that when, when we say, Good morning, Davina. The separation of timelines, the separation of worlds, you are really seeing it very prevalent right now. People of lower frequencies, if you're living with Sharon, being a roommate, living with an ex, living with friends, and they're not resonating with you, that's because spirit, the divine, is forcing the two frequencies apart. Allow this transition and this transformation if you choose. There are many who are choosing to continue to be in a savior mode. Mm -hmm. Sweethearts, you are not here to save anybody else. You are not here to teach anybody else. We are here to save ourselves and through saving ourselves, through raising our own frequency and vibration, allowing ourselves to embrace these new freq higher frequencies, these new timelines, you are allowing yourselves to evolve. I have had many messages in the past 48 hours of a variety of kind. People telling me, no, I have to lower myself back down so the humans can understand. Know that I am still human. Yada, 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 yada. If you guys choose to be human, that is on you, sweethearts. And I honor every one of your choices. Your individual choices are your individual choices. They are not mine. I have chosen to evolve. I have chosen to rise higher in my planetary consciousness, my physical consciousness, in all of my consciousness, and that is an individual soul's choice. It is for each of us to honor everybody's soul choices, sweethearts. We are not here to judge it. We are not here to give an opinion on it. We are not here for anyone but ourselves. And if that sounds selfish, again, that is your level of awareness. That is your level of a frequency. That is the lens that you are choosing to see through. If all you are seeing is chaos, death, and destruction, that is a reflection of your own perception. Perception is self-reflection. Perception is not truth. Perception is a lens, sweetheart. 
it is not our place, sweet ones, to do anything but go within and observe ourselves. Observe what is being presented. Observe our own perceptions. In every given moment, in every given breath, sweethearts, you are always experiencing yourself. So if you're messaging me, if you're commenting on my posts, whatever you are saying, observing, perceiving, that is your level of awareness. If you are not resonating, fine. Whether it's me, whether it's somebody else is posts, videos, whatever it may be. If you don't resonate, fine. That is beautiful. Because a seed has been planted. And when you're ready, you will come into the inner standing of whatever it is that you're not resonating with. My truth is not everybody else's truth. My level of awareness is not everybody else's awareness. Level of awareness, just like each of yours isn't. I really encourage you, sweethearts, to, to allow yourselves to step out of savior mode. Step out of feeling that you have to guide, assist, and teach others because they are not at the level of awareness you are. We're not here to teach. We're here to be the living example through living. That's where authenticity, integrity, honesty, and genuineness comes in. Not because you do a live video and you have so many followers. Not because you write a post and everybody likes it. This has nothing to do with likes, followers, or anything else. Regardless if your ego or disguised ego says so. Not everybody is going to be where each of us are at. Not everybody is going to have the same perception. But again, we are here to evolve our individual soul, which is a fractal of the whole, which is the form that you reside in. We are not here for any other purpose but that. And as long as the focus is continued outside of you, you will not be able to see the reflection being presented for you. Again, I have many messaging, messaging me and have been messaging me stating, well, I know this has nothing to do with me. It has to do with them. No. By you stating that, you are allowing yourself to put up a block to stop yourself from seeing what is being shown to you. Rand says, who are you addressing here? Are we not others? How are we? How are we your concern? Are we not raising our vibrations together as one? Rand, you can't go into oneness when you haven't evolved in oneness within yourself, sweetheart. Not at all. And who are the others? Are we not all others? Absolutely, we are all others. And who am I addressing here? I'm addressing myself as much as I am you and everybody else. So... To understand oneness, you have to become one within yourself. And if you cannot see yourself in every other, as Rand points out for me, thank you, Rand. If you cannot see yourself in every other, you will never be able to see yourself, period. So again, sweet ones, for those of you who message me, those of you who message other, those of you who comment on our posts, on our videos and everything else, remember, when you write that comment, that is your perception and that is giving you an opportunity to go within and observe yourself. 
And that's a beautiful thing, Rand. There are many of us who have melded. And there are many others that have not. Again, our perception is our own individual perception. And it will show each of us, each of you, just how much you have melded within. Right now, these energies of this full moon <clears throat> are separating the timelines, sweet ones. They are separating the higher frequencies from the lower frequencies. And it is the divine pushing you to observe that. And I encourage each of you, truly, mm. observe your comments. Observe your feelings. Observe what is triggered. Observe where you have not merged, melded, come into completeness and wholeness within yourself. Because that is where you are going to say, Davina, why do I do my live videos? Am I teaching? Not at all. Again, perception is on each of them. I do my live videos. Where you really want to know why I do live videos? You really want to know why I write my posts? I don't do it for any one of you. I do it for myself. I have discovered for myself on my journey by talking out loud, my conscious hears it at the exact same time my subconscious does, and they work together better in tandem. Am I here to teach you? No. Not at all. To the point that I have considered stop doing live videos. And this will probably be my last live video. Because I am discovering that too many people are relying on others instead of going within. I don't want followers, people. I'm not one of these that need everybody to share my live videos. I do not need followers. I do not need likes. Mm -hmm. I do not need any of it. I do it because I get so much information coming in because of the high planetary conscious frequency that I hold within my own vessel. I do it so I can go back and hear myself. So I can hear my spirit and let my physical Vessel actually hear what my spirit is saying from the outside rather than just the inside. I'm not here for anybody but myself. And, and that may sound very selfish, but awakening is a, is a singular journey, sweethearts. It has nothing to do with anyone outside of us. Not me, not you, not any, any of us. I love each and every one of you. I see a beautiful reflection in every one of you. Just like Rand. Rand says, am here to learn me? Absolutely. I am here to learn about me. The good, bad, the indifferent. I am here to allow myself to release the identity of human. of being human because that is an identity an identity that is an emotional attachment to this physical vessel that will be laid down once I fully emerge into my light body there's no reason for the flesh anymore because we will have crystallined formless into form and that is not a human form that is a light body form and therefore the human identity to form has to be released now, there are many, and again, all are aspects of ourselves, sweethearts. And until you can learn to love yourself fully, within and without, until you can stop allowing others' opinions, and all opinion is judgment, because it is based through your perception your lens of awareness, your lens of frequency that you are at. I do not see ugliness in any of you. I do not see corruption. I do not see 
anything but beauty and love. But I am in a place of detachment, sweethearts. I live in a realm of spirit. I do not allow myself to live in a realm of human identity. It is a personal choice I have made to evolve. And for myself, the only way I was able to do that was to fully surrender to my spirit. And I did that in the beginning. Most cannot surrender in the manner that I allowed myself to surrender. And can I tell you that my human made that choice? Absolutely not. My human did not make that choice. My spirit made that choice. And my human, in the beginning of my journey, did not understand or understand or overstand that choice. It was a journey of discovering it. And I'm sorry, sweethearts, but I'll be damned if I lower myself back down to be inhuman, to comfort anybody, or for anybody to stroke my ego to follow me. I don't need it. I'm not here to save you. I'm here to save you through saving myself, through evolving myself. And if that sounds harsh, I cannot apologize and will not apologize for it, sweet ones. Because then I would not be authentic and genuine. There is so much talk out there about coming from the heart and being genuine and being this and being authentic. Again, the definition of every single one of those words, those labels you give it, come from your own perception of yourself within. Every one of those labels, every one of those descriptions are all mm -hmm. there to stroke your ego. Because if you have to try and give definitions to something, then you're still trying to define it within yourself. So again, sweet ones, I love you. I do not see what you label as ugly or demonic in any of you. I can see and observe the lens of perception each of you are at. Does that make me better than you? Absolutely not. It means that I've done a hell of a lot of inner work on myself. I'm not here to be worshipped, to be followed, or anything else. I'm here to love. And I make no apologies for that fact, sweet ones. And I make no apologies for the fact that your lens of perception is yours and not mine. So the next time before you message me, before you come at me, with your comments and with your judgments and with your opinions, I strongly encourage you to go within. The next time you tell somebody that no, it's not me, it's them, you have shut yourself down from your own lesson, your own initiation, your own spirit you have chosen to deny. Perception is self-reflection, sweethearts, and right now, with these full moon energies that have income in the past 48 hours, I have spent 48 hours in extreme discomfort, in distr extreme distress to my physical vessel. And in those 48 hours, I have had over a hundred messages. And half of them have been judgment. Half of them have been opinions telling me that I need to bring myself down because I'm not being authentic and I'm not being genuine and I'm this and I'm that and that people don't understand me. Well, again, sweet ones, I love you. I appreciate your, your perceptions. I appreciate your opinions. I appreciate it all. And I also understand you are looking at yourself, not me. And you are projecting you onto me. And that's the purpose of this video. Is to encourage you guys to literally see 
and observe yourselves in how you project onto others and how you give opinions thinking you are saving and you are guiding and you are assisting and you are helping. So am I grateful for each of you? I'm very grateful and I am very grateful that you watch my live videos. I am very grateful that you read my posts, but please understand this. It comes to me, spirit speaks to me, and I write my post. Now, people again tell me I speak at people. No, I don't. I speak at myself. It just happens to be on a platform that other people can see. Nine times out of ten, my posts, my videos are all live. They're all spontaneous. They all come from my spirit and I write it. And then I turn around and I go back and I listen to my video for myself. I go back and I listen, I read what I have written in my journals. I go back and I read the posts that I write. I go back and I read my comments. And I observe myself. I observe what my spirit is trying to show me. So yes, that is why I write. That is why I do live videos, not for none of you, for myself. Because when spirit comes to me, spirit talks to me as you, Sophia, you, Linda, you. And so I talk to you how I talk to spirit because I am talking to myself and I am fully understanding and aware of that. So sweet ones, I love you. I appreciate you. And I really encourage each of you to step away from this outside world. Because it is going to take several days for you to integrate these energies and to truly understand these energies. So I encourage everybody to step away and observe themselves and to really allow yourself to choose just what frequency you want to reside on. Because right now, that is what these upgrades are leading you to. Warlito, absolutely everybody is. Everybody is. I love you, Rand. I love you all. I love you all. Remember, this is your universe. And each of us, every human that crosses your path, every being, every plant, animal, there's a message for you, sweet ones. And it is a message that your spirit set up for you to give you a message at that time. So really, sweet ones, love is, and it is all there is. And if you cannot see love and divinity and sovereignty and glory in every being, every person outside of you, then that is showing you a reflection of yourself that needs your self-love. And so, enjoy. Enjoy. Tears of joy, I shed. I love you, Rand. I love you all. Davina, Carrie, Alice, Angela, all of you. So I really encourage you to get off of social media for a few hours, for a few days, sweet ones. Get out in nature. Let these energies integrate. And know that all is love. And that's all we are. These waves are intense, sweet ones. I am here for you. I am holding space. I understand how intense these waves are. Again, for 48 hours, the day before the full moon, I started getting bolts. And I'm not, and, and, and when I say bolts, I am saying bolts of lightning striking through me the intensity of energies that have come through me the the nausea the diarrhea i have not even been able to keep water down i have so much heat and fire going through my body that literally my roommate 
has had to cook for me some soup, which came up. I'm not, I haven't been able to keep anything down. My roommate came in and held my hand and brought a wet rust cloth to put on my head because my neighbor was over here. My neighbor is like, are you okay? Yep, I'm perfectly fine. I feel rough, but that's just my ego telling me that. I mean, this is, this is intense, sweethearts. And let me tell you, as intense as they are, it's why I encouraged everyone to go off of social media because they are intense and because they activate, again, when light comes into anything, that which is not of that same vibration or what you label as, as darkness or whatever comes up to the surface to be. And so when you come online while you're going through these and you have an underlying frustration or anger at your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your spouse or your children because they're not understanding or at the same level of frequency of you. And you come on and you comment and you watch live videos and you make comments or you read a post and you comment. You are in a react reactionary mode. You're in, in a reactionary frequency and you are projecting your own issues onto everybody else. That is why it is necessary to disconnect during these videos. Carrie Kogan, you might need a physical. Sweetheart, I don't need a, a physical. There is nothing out here that any doctor outside of myself can tell me that I don't already know within myself, sweetheart. Carrie, the higher in frequency you allow yourself to rise to, you will come to the understanding, sweetheart, that you are your doctor, you are your physician, you are your own healer, and there is nobody outside of you that can do it better than yourself. When you allow yourself to rise to in higher in frequency, you will come to communicate with your vessel, and your vessel will tell you if you are low on iron, your vessel will tell you if you are low on magnesium, if you are dehydrated, your physical vessel, when you can detach the humanness, will tell you everything you need to heal. Again, sweethearts, when we say there is nothing outside of you, there is nothing outside of you. You are the healer, you are the guru. You are the Savior, you are the Holy Spirit, you are God, and it is all within this vessel. You, there are many that can and cannot wrap their minds around this because you consider yourselves humans. As long as you attach a human identity, you will continue to live in a human reality. You have to release the humanness, and the only thing that is, is the identity to human. Consciousness, you are a human form. I appreciate that, Carrie. Bless your heart, sweetheart. My blood work is absolutely perfect. I did a scan on my vessel this morning. When you can detach the human label the human identity, you will come to a space where this so-called human is just a form. It is not a human form. It is just a form. Form and formless. When you allow yourself to release all identities to anything, you will discover that you can hear from a different frequency. You can hear your physical vessel speak to you, you can hear its communication, if you will. Your blood can speak to you. Your DNA can speak to you. Your skin can speak to you. All of it speaks to you. But again, it's a matter of the frequency that you allow yourselves to evolve to. You have the power. Let me give you an example. I had my roommate drive me to the water last night. I was not physically able to drive myself. And spirit kept telling me, water, you need to go in the water. For me, water 
I do water purifying meditations. I do water meditations. I do a lot of work with water. And I had my roommate drive me to the water last night so I could physically immerse my, my vessel into it. My There was so much fire running through my vessel. And there has been since I had done I had gone into meditation and had made that post a few days ago, the liquid gold plasma light had been anchored and engaged. I do a lot of planetary work, a lot of grid work, stuff like that, that that's part of my mission. It is not necessarily a part of everybody else's missions. And that is beautiful, Angela. Warlito, been jacking in and out of social media to check how everyone mm -hmm. is doing and jack out again. Wi-Fi turned on. That's that's beautiful. Binaural sophagio is great to help with some of this is, and to raise your frequencies within. But I had what I was saying is I had my roommate drive me out to to the water last night because it is so it, these frequencies are so intense and the more you can anchor them into the electromagnetic geomagnetic field of the planet you're anchoring yourself into the new grid when you allow yourselves to spend time out in nature during these one it will allow the frequencies to anchor in and integrate more gracefully and more gently. When you up your intake in water, eat more greens, it helps flush, if you will, the water. These, these energies that are coming up to be released, it helps flush them out more gracefully. When you allow yourself to eat more citrus, to eat more greens, to put lemon in your water, that helps balance this alkaline acidic levels in your vessels. And when you can allow yourselves to spend time in nature to get away from the outside influences of all these saviors, all these gurus, all these teachers, and really go to the only guru you need, which is Gaia, which is earth and spirit, you will have all the information you need. You will have all the tools that you need. You will have all the true, authentic, genuine, since so many people are caught up on these genuine and authentic words, you will have all the genuineness, integrity, truth, honesty that you need. Yourself, and I'm not talking the physical vessel, I'm talking yourself, your spirit, will guide you in every way, in every breath. Somebody asked me in a message yesterday, since you are Barbello, please explain to me the difference between spirit and soul. Spirit is all. Spirit is the whole, and it is endlessly flawless. The soul is a fractal of the whole. Spirit is formless. Soul is form. When you lay your physical vessels down, your soul goes back to being spirit. As long as you are in form, Please observe, I did not say human form. As long as you are in form, whether that form is flesh of the human, whether it's flesh of a tree, whether it is the flesh of a flower, the grass, the earth, the water, the wind, the rain, it don't matter. As long as, and that is why I say lose your humanness. Because form is form. But not all form is human. That is an identity that you have been asked to release and that many struggle with, and that's okay. Each is on their own journey. But when you can let go of the identity of form and see it for what it is, you will discover a lot of information about yourself. Soul is spirit incarnated into form. Spirit cannot be destroyed. 
but the soul can. Because spirit is formless and soul is form. Again, there is a lot of misinformation out there. That is why it is necessary to go within and validate anything and everything, sweet ones. I live on the beach, been subsisting on vegetable soup for past three days. Been a while since I since this intense of a way. Warlito, I can tell you the exact same thing I was just telling my roommate a couple days ago when it first started. Because I was woke up, oh, probably four to three, a day and a half before the full moon. So the morning, what would have been the morning of three o'clock in the morning of the eighth for me. I woke up in a bolt of lightning. I'm telling you, it's rare that these intense energies mm -hmm. can knock me off course, can off kilter me. And they have done nothing but off kilter me. I have had a lot of integration going on in these past 48 hours, past 72 hours that have been incredible. But sweet ones, understand this. The more you integrate it, the more it is going to raise your frequency up even higher, evolve you up in even higher. So I love you, sweet ones. Allow yourselves to integrate these and allow yourselves to observe. Hot flashes. Um, I went through menopause 10 years ago. For There's many that are going, good morning, Shannon. There are many that have gone through menopause or are going through menopause. Anybody who has ever had that experience with it or know somebody that went through it, those hot flashes. Hi, Rachel. How you doing, beautiful? Those hot flashes are exactly what's what is like going on with these energies. These are intense for a, a, for a purpose. These energies, again, are separating the timelines, the frequencies, the worlds. And this is every choice you make right now, sweet ones, is a crucial choice for your soul, for your spirit. Because you are cho choosing to evolve in spirit or are you choosing to remain as a human? And when I say that, please understand, for me and myself, human is an identity. It is an attachment. If we die, where will our spirit go? Is there really a heaven or hell? Marquita, heaven and hell is a frequency. It is not a place. As long as you allow yourself to, relate, to, to remain in the lower frequencies of separation and duality, you will experience have experiences on the hellish plane. You will experience judgment. You will experience separation. You will experience hatred. You will experience emotions. You will experience fighting and war and everything that is not peace. Death is an illusion. And yes, I understand that there are many that are not on that awareness. Death is a transcendence of worlds. So to answer your questions, when you die, you never truly die. You lay your vessel down and you change, you transfer to another world, another form, whatever your soul has, has planned for you and has chosen for you, sweetheart. Heaven and hell is not outside of you. It exists within you. If you want out of hell, then face your own ugliness. Face your own demons. See the reflection that the outside world and all its people are showing you. Take ownership. Take responsibility. <clears throat> Remember that you are energy and what energy is about. Energy out is energy back. You are always experiencing yourself, whether it's through... The physical vessel of Davina, or Rachel, or Phaedra, or Linda, or Rand, or Kevin, or Warlito. You are always experiencing yourself. And what you see in each of those others, which really are just yourself. Mm -hmm. They're just playing a role for you, which I love you all for playing those beautiful roles for me. 
thank you. I'm grateful for you being a part of me. A part of I the whole. <clears throat> but when you can see what they're sharing with you. When you can see the reflection. Or when somebody comes out, comes up and says, No, Sophia. You need to lower yourself down so they can understand. So they can have compassion. No, I don't. Because you know what, sweethearts? You are me and I am you. We are all interconnected. And the more I heal within myself, and the higher I raise my frequency, regardless of every one of you that seemingly are outside of me, I raise your frequency too. And I don't do it through live videos. I don't do it through posts. I do it through self. Because the higher I raise my frequency, regardless of the level of frequency, anything outside of me is at. Every time I come into the presence of any other energy, I raise that presence of frequency through my own frequency. Sophia is that Rachel Sophia is my spiritual name. Spirit is the name of Sophia is the name of my spirit, my original template. So sweet ones, again it's a label. It's not important. So Again, sweet ones, I encourage you to spend as much time out in nature, to spend as much time within yourself and really allow you to release all that does not serve your highest good and love yourself and love us through it. Have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Feel these magics. And I encourage you, every time you start to get a hot flash, you start to get a wave of energy, drink some water with lemon or orange in it. The citrus will help. I love you, sweet ones. Embrace this magic and allow it to anchor in and watch yourself soar. Yes, we are, Ran. Yes, we are. I love you, sweet ones. Have a magical, magical, magical day. And I am holding you in eternal peace, grace, glory, love, bliss, abundance, prosperity. You got this. You just have to integrate it and ground it in. I'm here for all of you. If you need me, message. If I'm in the middle of puking or something, it may take and have to lay down. It may take me a few minutes, maybe a couple of hours to get back to you. However, I will respond. I love you, sweet ones. Embrace this magic and have a great, great day. Bye-bye now.